Hello everyone, uh, today we will find exact confidence interval and we will use pivotal quantity by using pivotal method. <clears throat> uh, say for example, we are given a density function like this one. And now we will use the pivotal method for finding the confidence interval for the parameter theta. So first of all, we will use uh, the pivotal quantity, say u, and it will be defined as minus summation 1 up to n uh, log of 1 minus f of xi theta and this is how it's going to be look like and uh, <clears throat> 1 up to n <clears throat> log of say 1 minus so that we will derive the PDF for that we will integrate it 0 to x um, theta e to the power minus theta x and dx minus summation of i is equal to 1 up to n log of and 1 minus see theta is constant so it will be out 0 to x e to the power minus theta x dx and it's pretty much look like this uh, next minus uh, i is equal to 1 up to n log of 1 minus theta so the integration e to the power minus theta x when you integrate e to the power something and that will be e to the power something and the limits will be as it is 0 to x and uh, minus summation i is 1 up to n log of 1 minus uh, uh, when you put the limits here uh, sorry integration was pretty much uh, a little bit wrong so at the de denominator there will be minus theta and this minus theta this minus theta will be cancel so we will live with one plus and when you just put the values of 0 and x e to the power minus theta x minus e to the power 0 and it will be 1 and this one this one will be cancel uh, and we we will going to live with i is equal to 1 up to n log of e to the power minus theta x and from here what we will get we know that log of e is 1 and the log of something will be uh, a log of e's formula say log e base log uh, e to the power uh, something say something theta x then it will be uh, minus theta x log of e and log of e is 1 so we will remain it theta x so what we will remain here minus summation i is equal to 1 up to n um, and it will be minus theta x and simply what we can write minus theta sum i 1 up to n x so this is our pivotal quantity minus theta sum x So we found our, and now one of the most important parts of finding confidence interval. See, we are dealing with probability and say uh, there is upper limit, uh, sorry, lower limit, lower limit. Uh, and the parameter of interest and the upper limit. So this is the probability, right? That was we just uh, focusing on. And the probability, we are just getting lower limit as u1. And the parameter of interest is here, say theta. And the upper limits, upper limits will be the u2. 
and this is not theta it's a u so u1 up to u2 and that is our final goal to find out this is our destiny so in our destiny we already found u and it is nothing but theta minus some xi if you look at in the previous class it's minus uh, theta some x that was we get see there is a little mistake when we just done this there is a minus okay so minus theta x so there is minus theta x and this minus this will be plus so what we will get is that uh, u is equal to this one 1 up to n and uh, so we already found u now we need the lower limits and the upper limits see first understand this one suppose this is the probability distribution and is that the lower tail we define this point as u1 and this point and is u2 and in this interval is our uh, a desired confidence interval and the parameter of interest you say lies at this point and uh, if you notice this in total this area uh, was covered by the quantity one so the area is one here and um, in total area and this part say this part is alpha by two this part is alpha by two that means that uh, these two parts is alpha then it will be one minus alpha so this is what is look like so we need to find out this uh, this region from 0 to u1 and u2 to infinity this point so first of all uh, as we wanted to find out our, our limit so what we will do we will integrate 0 to u1 g of u as already mentioned that the this one this u belongs to uh, gamma and gamma for for your uh, comfortable it will be uh, standard gamma and it will be denoted like in this one because there the uh, one parameter will be one say g of u du and it will be alpha by two so we will put the gamma distribution and it will be a standard gamma so it will look like one by and gamma n e to the power minus u u to the power n minus 1 du alpha by 2 so this is what is look like and next how it going to look like it is uh, 0 to 2 u1 1, 1 by gamma n e to the power um, say now I have to change here a little bit we say uh, u is equal to w by 2 that means a uh, 2u is equal to w and du it will be dw by 2 now why we changing these things see there is gamma function and uh, uh, and the gamma distribution where we say we are wanted to transform it into chi square chi square why because there is a lot of reason behind it uh, the the confidence interval uh, with gamma uh, limits are more appropriate than uh, uh, with chi square limits is more appropriate than gamma so that is why we need to change this one into chi square so e to the power minus uh, w by 2 and w by 2 um, in minus 1 and d w by 2 is equal to alpha by 2 that is how it looks like and uh, 0 to 2 u 1 and uh, it will be half of in gamma in e to the power minus half w w n minus 1 dw is equal to alpha by 2 so that is it how it's going to be look like and uh, 0 to u1 2 u1 and 
uh, so what we can do right now uh, say first of all we separate these things first we take w to n minus 1 yeah and there is a half of n minus uh, 1 so we take half of n and it is at the numerator and half with 2 that will be at uh, so if you exp uh, I have I think I, sh I wanted to show this part now otherwise it will be complicated for you so look at this place what I have done w n minus 1 divided by 2 to the power n minus 1 and what I can write it like n minus 1 to the power n and that will be half and this half if I take it at the numerator it will be 2 and this 2 and there is another 2 that will be cancelled in both places then we will left with dw okay now this is what I'm looking for half of uh, 2n divided by 2 so if we cut 2 that will be remain in so uh, nothing happens 2n divided by 2 um, e to the power minus half w w 2n divided by 2 minus 1 dw H alpha so this is what is look like uh -huh. now what i have to do now what i have to do we will integrate 0 to 2 u and what was my desire is desire to convert it into chi square and i have done already that so it is left with chi square with 2 n degrees of freedom and we will write it d chi square and it is alpha by 2. now if you want um, uh, if you want now by definition of chi square quantile we can write it like this one to you one is equal to chi square alpha by two to n and u one is equal to half of chi square alpha by two comma two n and similarly similarly u2 will be 1 by half chi square 2n 1 minus alpha by 2 now our final product will be the probability of u1 uh, i don't write the whole thing you can do that u1 greater than or equal to uh, u2 sorry u and u2 that was our final product and u1 and the u's value is theta minus some xi 1 up to n and u2 and probability of we only want theta here so this will be divided by u1 divided by some xi theta u2 divided by some xi so we will live with that and this is our uh, desire confidence interval thank you very much